Thank you. Our next guest was born and raised in Belleville, Ontario. She moved to Toronto for theater school only to peace out four months later. She joined Second City within a year. She was touring, becoming the youngest female ever hired. She's been on a ton of shows. I mean, you recognize her obviously from as Dina from the show Superstore. You may also recognize her from the time she worked in the footwear section at the Belleville Zellers. <laughs> and now she has just released her debut EP. It's called Sad This Christmas, just in time for the holiday season. Lauren Ash is here. So good to have you on the show. Couldn't be happier to be here. Thank Thank you so much. Let's be clear, you do love Christmas. To an almost troubling level. You do, and yeah. you have a, is it true that you have a room in your house that's dedicated to the decorations of Christmas year round? That's correct. I did a really good job <laughs> on a tree one year, and I was like, I can't recreate this, yeah. so I'm just gonna keep it up year round. And then I just turned into the swerve, and my spare bedroom in my home is it's the Christmas room. So people come, and Christmas bedding, Christmas lamp, Christmas tree. So at the t at, so over like the holiday season, do you bring that lovely tree out, or does it stay in the room? Yes, it comes out. Okay. You know, November first ish. Okay. Until you know mid Jan. Doesn't you, matter. You're a mid Jan is, girl. Yeah, I'm a mid Jan for okay. sure. And for then sure. everything gets tucked back away. And then it just gets slid back into the Christmas room. Ho ho ho. Sometimes you just at night just walk in there and just appreciate. Hundred <laughs> percent. It's really beautiful. <laughs> I should find a photograph. It's like a white tree with Aww. like very stylized kind of ornaments. And then I have the fun one. You, you, know. have, you have the, oh, you have two trees? And a bedroom tree. There's three. Stop there's, it. There's three total, yeah. Okay, well, yeah. we do need pictures of that. <laughs> Speaking of styling, um, let's talk about your music. Yes. Sad This Christmas is the name of, of an original song that you wrote on your EP. Can we take a listen? Please. All right, let's take a listen. Um, great video, by the way. Thank you. Um, why are we so over Christmas in this video? You know, I think it's honestly, I love Christmas so much, but it's such a complicated holiday and it brings up a lot of feelings that are not necessarily uh, super happy. Mm. So I think that for me, it was like, I don't feel like I've heard a song in a while that's been kind of embracing that it's like, it's a tough time for a lot of people. Totally. It's a tough time for me. Even as mm -hmm. someone who loves it, it often makes you go, another year has passed. Where am I now? Totally. What's going on with me? So yeah, I was kind of like, interesting to me to try and explore that as a huge Christmas fan. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. Yeah, it's really great. Thank I mean, you. you've been writing songs since what, you're a teenager? Yeah. Do you remember the first song you wrote? Yes. What was it? Oh, it was very long. It was very <laughs> emotional. It, it was about meeting, I shouldn't even be saying, it was about meeting a band called The Age of Electric, which is my mm -hmm. favorite band of all time. And I wrote about my experience and it was very, again, melodic. It was six minutes long. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I played it publicly. You I did? Played you that did? Publicly um, in front of a, a assembly of, uh, at high, in high school. Yeah. So I'm sure that they. You did an assembly. I'm sure your family's it heard it many. with them. Well, yeah. I, I used to write songs too when you I was did? I did. I, I remember love my it. first song was called One Summer Day. Summer, oh. sorry, plural. One Summer's Day. I was walking along the harbor. Harbor. <laughs> Yeah. yeah for well, real. you got to know. You got to make sure they know where you're walking. I used to charge my family to come in by the piano. Stop it. That's right. I used to make. Um, Entrepreneur. Yeah. It started early. <laughs> I love that. I love um, that. We have to talk about the fact that you performed at the Whiskey, which is huge in yeah. Hollywood. Uh, Kiss has performed there. Metallica's performed there. You've performed there. What was that like? You know, growing up again, like in Belleville, Ontario, like my connection to the music scene in the 90s and 2000s was the stories about like the Viper Room, yes. the Roxy, the Whiskey A Go Go. And when I got to play like a full set there, it was really such a cool moment for me. The reason why I'm pursuing music is it was my teenage dream. This mm. is what I always want. I really would have rather been a rock star than an actor. <laughs> uh, it didn't work out that way, obviously, but now it's just such a joy to get to connect to that thing that just brings you that mm -hmm. visceral level of feeling alive and yeah. feeling like, again, having the confidence of an adult that I didn't as a teen. Totally. I think it feels even better. Well, listen, uh, such a joy to connect with you today, especially in studio. Thanks so much. Would love Lauren. to hear a recording of that song. Oh, uh, so would my family. I'm sure they'd love a, an EP <laughs> on all of the tracks that I used to make I've listened to in the 80s. Sad This Christmas, by the way, is out now on all streaming platforms. Lauren, thanks so much. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.